balance each of the ratios which of the ratios 4 to 9 and the other one is uh, 3 to 8 this is 4 to 9 and 3 to 8 between these two ratios which one is greater which one of the two ratios is greater so I've said number one express the ratio express uh, the ratios in form of n to 1 so we are going to express for example the first ratio which is 4 to 9 uh, which may be written as 4 over 9 you can express this ratio in form of n to 1 and you can see here n is a, a fraction so you'll have it at 4 over 9 to 1 4 over 9 to 1 and uh, this would be equal to 4 over 9 expressing it into a fraction 4 divided by 9 this will be equal to 0 0.44 Okay, 0 0.44 to 1. Then the other ratio is 3, 3, 3 over 8 to 1. So 3 over 8 is the n. Okay, and converting this into a decimal, 3 divided by 8. This is equal to 0 0.3. If I'm to round it off to two decimal places, this will be 0 0.38 to 1. And you can see, after having done that, after expressing the ratios in form of n to 1, which you have done, because this one becomes n, this one is a n, and both are to 1, you can see that 0 0.44 is greater than 0 0.38. So there are only two stages. First, express them into um, that form, then compare the two. So the question is, find which of the ratio, ratios 4 to 9 and 3 to 8, which one is greater. So the ratio 4 to 9 the answer is 4 to 9 is greater greater than 3 to 8 is greater than 3 to 8 we can have a look at another example another example another example find which ratio between 11 and 5 and 10 10 to 5 and 10 to and 11 to 5 and 10 to 3 which of the two ratios which of the two, two ratios is greater okay that is another illustration we want to look at 11.5 Ten point three. Eleven to five. Ten to three. Which of these two ratios is greater? Which of the two ratios is greater? So, number one, express the ratios in the form. Step one, express the ratios in the form n to 1. So we begin with the first ratio which is 11 over 5 to 1. The other one is 10 over 3 to 1. This one if you are to convert it into a percent it will be equal to 11 
divide by 8. The answer here is uh, 1.38 to 1. Then we have 10 divided by 3. This is 3.33 3 to 1. So the ratio between 3.33 and 1.38, which one is greater? The one that is greater here is 3.33, which means the ratio, uh, the ratio 10 to 3 is greater than, is greater than the ratio, is greater than the ratio 11 to 8, is greater than the ratio 11 to 8. So that's how one way in which you can compare ratios. If you have several ratios, there may be two ratios, there may be three ratios, there may be four ratios. Regardless of the number of ratios, that procedure has to be followed. And this is only one way in which ratios can be compared. There is an alternative to this method. So we will go ahead and uh, look at the alternative method. Alternatively. Alternatively, there is an alternative, all right? So we're going to look at that alternative. And in this alternative, the first step, let me call it step one. I can call it step one. Step one, express the fractions, express express the ratios as fractions with the same denominator using LCM. LCM. Step one. Step two compare the ratios compare the ratio so that the ratio with the larger the larger numerator will be the greatest the greatest ratio will be the greatest ratio. Two steps. Step number one, express the ratios as fractions with the same denominator. And how do you do that? Use their LCM. Then step number two, compare the ratios. After converting them into fractions with the same denominator, compare the ratio so that the ratio with the larger numerator becomes the greatest of the ratios under consideration. So we will look at examples and we use the same examples here in this uh, uh, alternative. Our first method, we considered these are examples. Examples. In this method, we compared these two, the two ratios. That is four to one and three to eight. Four to one and three to eight. Find which of the, which of the ratios four to nine and three to eight, which one is greater. So the ratio here under consideration is 4 to 9 and 3 to 8. So step number one, 
express the ratios as fractions. So the first ratio will be 4 over 9. That is a fraction. And the next ratio is 3 over 8. That is a fraction. Then after expressing these ratios as fractions, we use their LCM, use their LCM so that uh, we have a common or same denominator, same denominator. And the LCM here, 8 and 9 is 72. And the multipliers are 8, 9 and 8. So here we multiply this fraction, we multiply this fraction by, by 8 over 8, okay, then multiply this fraction by 9 over 9, this will give us 32 over 72, this will give us 27 over 72. Okay, 27 over 72. So the first step, what we have done is to express the, 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 the ratios as fractions with the same denominator. So you can see here, this is the same denominator. The denominator here is 72. The denominator here is 72, which is the LCM. The LCM, so that uh, with this, we move to the second step, which is just comparing the numerators. So between 32 and 77, you can see 32 is greater. Therefore, the greater ratio, the greatest ratio here, the ratio 4 to 9 is greater than the ratio 3 to 8. So the same case here, the ratio 4 to 9 was greater than 3 to 8. You can also work out this one again. The ratios in this example were 11 to 5. This is example one, you can proceed to example two. Example two, we are comparing the ratio 11 to 5 and the ratio, uh, the ratio 10 to 3. So step number one, express the ratios as fractions with the same denominator. Here we'll have 11 over 5. The other ratio is 10 over 3. 10 over 3. So 5 and 3. So we come here and multiply this ratio by 3 over 3. This ratio we multiply by 5 over 5 to get 33 over 15. This one is 50 over 15. So you see 15 is the, this 15 is the LCM of, the LCM of the denominators. The denominator here is five and the denominator in this ratio is 3. The LCM is 15. When we convert these ratios, or when we express these ratios as fractions with the same denominator, the first ratio will be 33 over 15. The second ratio will be 50 over 15. Then we move to the second step, which is comparing. We compare the numerators. This numerator 33, is less than the numerator 50. So the ratio, the ratio 10 to 3, 10 to 3 
is greater than the ratio than the ratio 11 to 5 than the ratio 11 to 5 so this is an alternative method Thank <music> you.